Here is the TransSurge program window. I will demonstrate the import of pipeline data from an Excel file format. This icon launches the import tool. The comprehensive interface allows me to generate a more detailed model. Click the Browse button and load the Excel file. You can control the column width with these arrows. This file contains distance and elevation data for the pipeline. Enter the column letter in each field for the available data. For instance, A refers to distance data. B refers to elevation data. Default diameter, roughness, wave speed, and material data may be entered. Also, select the, the units, flow units, and enter the specific gravity for any liquid other than water. A pump may be specified to be placed at the beginning of the pipeline. Check this box here. Multiple pumps may be specified. In this example, we have one pump. Here is the data describing the pump. This includes operating data, speed ratio, one being normal operating speed, efficiency, and inertia. A tool is available for inertia calculations. The pump file refers to the applicable suitor diagram file. The appropriate file number is also provided by the pump inertia tool. This is the closure time and resistance for the check valve that is internal to the pump. The internal check valve in this example is a non-reopening type. Some advanced pump data is available here, but this last field, delivery water depth, is used for the pipeline discharge when a vessel has a positive head. If the discharge is to atmospheric pressure, just leave this blank. There is an option to place a valve at the delivery end in place of a reservoir. The node type designation allows nodes in the pipeline to represent one of the devices in this list here. In our example, one node in the pipeline is a number 5. This is a three-stage air valve. The last data to input is surge data. We want to specify a simulation time, cavitation head, probably use the default, the type of transient event, and finally, we want to provide the information for any surge devices in the system. This model has an air valve. It will use this diameter data. Now we are ready to generate the model file.